What was it like when you heard the news about the crash? Oh, victims, either directly. Have they said, Harold, we're gonna take care of your medical bills? No. Nope. Or indirectly. I lost a, a good man, I lost equipment. Have been forever changed after severe crashes where emergency responders were at fault. But Ohio law protects the government agencies. News 5 investigators found thousands of crashes caused by emergency vehicles piling up across the state over the last five years. Tonight, investigator Jonathan Walsh introduces us to some of the victims of those crashes and the efforts to change laws in Ohio. Well, Rob, the law here in Ohio says that governments can be shielded from these types of damages. But when that happens, victims are left to fend for themselves and pay a terrible price through no fault of their own. Harold Hill from Rittman was just on his way to a friend's home in November of 2022. And I was going up to help him work on his house. I remember looking in my rearview mirror and seeing him, someone flying behind me. And knocked me in the other lane, and that's all I remember for three weeks. Harold says the crash broke his back. Broke my ribs, punctured my right lung, broke my nose, broke my neck, which is still broke. All of this caused by a Wayne County Sheriff's deputy. State Patrol said he was at fault. The county administrator says the deputy was cited for the crash and got a written warning. Are you able to work at all? No. You can't make money for yourself? Nope. The Wayne County Administrator says the deputy was on official business during the crash, and the county has immunity from those kinds of damages by law. It goes back to the concept of sovereign immunity, where the crown or the sovereign can do no wrong. George Pilot is a longtime Cleveland area attorney. The immunity laws are designed so that drivers of emergency vehicles and governments can't be sued over and over again and be driven into the ground. There are some exceptions, but fighting immunity can be very difficult. Generally, if the police officer is responding to an emergency call and causes an accident, there would be immunity. In 2021. Nelsonville, Ohio. It was pretty devastating. Every employee means everything to us. A Nelsonville police officer speeding to an emergency call went straight through an intersection, slamming into a water bottle delivery truck owned by Andy Vita and driven by one of Andy's employees. You just go numb, you know, knowing that he, he was severely hurt. His driver survived, but not without costs. A wonderful person and was a great employee, and if that man could return back to work, he would have a job here, but he can't. Because of his injuries? Because of his injuries. Andy tells us Nelsonville claimed immunity, leaving him to shell out thousands of dollars to help his employee, for insurance purposes, and for many other costs. In the end, Andy had to sell off that water bottle delivery portion of his company. But remember, not an ounce of this was his fault. So essentially, this crash ruined that business for you? Yes. How do you feel about that? I'm a little bitter. Yeah, I'm a little bitter. As a result of the accident, the officer lost his life. A memorial marker is now placed here at the intersection a tragedy for both he and his family. This is a horrible situation, you know, because it involved people's lives here. The officer, and he had kids. Others know the kind of human toll. My mother was great. At fault, emergency vehicle crashes can take. It's devastated us, my sister, my four brothers, and myself. Mary Ann Kerrigan died in 2020 when a volunteer firefighter from the Battle Run Fire District responded to a call and State Patrol reports caused an accident in Marion County. It just looked like a, a normal vehicle to me. Kerrigan's daughter Ann, too distraught to be on camera, tells us she forgives the driver, but she can't even begin to comprehend the immunity laws. I do think that it needs uh, reevaluated by our lawmakers. 
Our research shows over the past five years, there were more than 4,700 emergency vehicles at fault for property damage. 832 crashes caused minor to serious injuries, and 11 people have died, including Anne's mom. If you're responsible, you need to take the responsibility. Our goal is to end qualified immunity in the state of Ohio. Kyle Pierce is the executive director of the Ohio Coalition to End Qualified Immunity. We don't have a system of equal justice under the law. We have laws for us, and then we have a different set of laws for government and its employees. Kyle says between his organization and other groups, They've tried to give voters the chance to change the laws, but the Ohio Attorney General's office has rejected their potential ballot language seven times in recent years. We were founded on the philosophy that we have a government accountable to the people, a constitution by, of, and for the people. It's a deep frustration many crash victims share as they plead for legislators to step in. Our state representatives need to help the small, the small business, and the people, because it affects both. Do you think that law needs to be re-examined? I think so, because if it was me hitting them, they'd be right on me. They'd make me pay. Now, to be clear, we asked for interviews with all government entities involved in the cases that we've mentioned in this story, but not one sat down with us. Now, we did talk to the Fraternal Order of Police right here in Ohio, and in general, its president, Gary Wolski, said the immunity laws are necessary because you don't want responders hesitating during emergencies and having second thoughts in their minds. We should note that the Ohio Coalition to End Qualified Immunity says it is now working to put this issue on the November ballot so voters can decide one way or the other. Just a tough spot, and there's so many questions that still remain with one definitive answer here through your reporting. There's no winner. No. No, neither side really ends up on the winning side because it's one of those situations that you have to have it and then you don't, right. you see the negatives from it too. So much work, Jonathan. Thank you so much. Thanks for that. It's eye-opening. Thank you.